So the question we have today is how do you perform a calcium chloride test? So as you can see, we have marked off an area that is approximately 20 by 20. And the idea here is to have a good, clean, and smooth surface inside this, this perimeter. So you'll need to take uh, and brush it off, sweep it off, maybe even have to put a little sandpaper on there, something like that, to get all the debris off that you can. And it might be a bit of a dusty job, so you might want to be prepared to uh, take the steps necessary to keep it as clean as possible and to, not to be breathing in all of that dust. But you do want a nice smooth surface down here. So what I'm holding here is the actual calcium chloride test and what comes with that uh, inside of here is the dish with the test materials inside and we are going to pop that open here in just a second. But you also get a kind of an amber colored plastic dome that has some self-adhesive tape on there that will eventually put over the dish. So what we're going to do right now, there we go. So what we're doing here is removing the dish and the top side you'll see has the printing on it and it's also covered or sealed up I should say with some black electrical tape and you want to leave that on there for the time being and the idea here is to place this on a scale so you get a reading, I guess you could call it a dry reading of the ingredients and this one weighs at 30 grams. Really any common scale will work if you have a food scale, maybe you have a postage scale, uh, that'll work just fine. But always remember to follow the test kit manufacturer's recommendations. So very simply, now that you have your number, the idea here is to remove the black plastic tape from the dish and we have already removed the protective little pieces here on your self-adhesive strips and the black plastic tape simply goes to the inside of the top of the dome like this and we're going to use this later. Now with that being done it's just a simple matter of being very careful not to spill any of the contents here. Set the dish down like so Take your plastic dome, simply put it on top of here and seal down the edges and go enjoy yourself for 60 to 72 hours. So remember, in your basement you need to maintain a relative humidity of somewhere between 40 and 60 percent. It's imperative that you test three times for the first 1,000 square feet in the area that you're working in. Now also please remember for each additional 1,000 square feet you're going to need to perform an additional test. We are in a rather large area right here and we have already put a test over on the other side that we're going to show you in a minute and that test has been there for about 72 hours. So let's go and take a look at what happened. Now it's time to open up this dome to access the dish that's inside without disturbing the dish. And to do that, we're just going to simply make a cut right here. Now that we've made our cut, we're going to carefully reach inside, pull out our dish being very careful not to spill any of the contents. So before we weigh what the contents of the dish, we want to make sure that it's sealed up with the black plastic tape that was adhesed through the underside of that kind of amber colored dome. Now what we'll do is simply place it on the scale and the scale is set to grams and we can see that our number has showed up. So now that we've gotten to this point, uh, you can either follow the formula that's on the screen or for those of us that are maybe a little math challenged, you can access the website of the test manufacturer and most of them will provide you with a little calculator there that you can get the results 
that you're looking for. So what do we know now? Well, what we know now is we have the right information to make a educated decision as to what flooring products you're going to need to use in the environment that you're working in. MP Global has a great product selection tool if you have questions about our products or how to use them. And as always, give us a like if you like the content that you've seen or you like this video.